When the Dutch left Mauritius, the French were already present in Réunion Island, then known as Bourbon, and Madagascar. They were particularly interested in Mauritius due to its ideal geographical location as a port of call for refueling in fresh supplies of food and water and to secure their strategic position in India and the Indian Ocean. This is how Guillaume Dufresne d'Arcel, captain of Le Chasseur, landed in Port Nordwest or present-day Port Louis Harbour in June 1715 and hoisted his Fleur de Lys flag to officially take possession of the island which was renamed Ile de France. But it was not until 1721 that the French East India Company and the first French colonists settled in the island at a time when only a few Maroons were living in the forests and mountains. However, the colonization of the island expanded rapidly with the arrival of Governor François Maille de la Bourdonnée in 1735. He was a man of vision, full of ambition, and an efficient colonial administrator. On his arrival, there were only 838 inhabitants, including 648 slaves. Three years later, his wife and two of his children died within three months. This tragedy did not deter him from devoting himself entirely to the development of the colony. The era of major construction and modernization had dawned for Ile-de-France. His first objective was to build a naval base and a town in Port Louis. The island's administrative center would then be transferred from Vieux Grand Port to the region of Port Louis. It was in fact Governor Nicolas de Maupin, Maille de la Bourdonnais' predecessor, who had previously recommended that Port Louis, or Port Nordwest, should become the main port and the island's administrative centre, since Port Louis was better protected from the winds than Vieux Grand Port. Another important administrative decision during the 1730s was the decision by the French East India Company that Ile-de-France would no longer be a dependency of Bourbon Island. Governor Maille de la Bourdonnais was largely responsible for the expansion of slavery in Ile-de-France and the proliferation of the slave trade to the colony. Slavery formed an integral part of Mauritian colonial society at that time and no economic and infrastructural developments were conceivable without slave labor. In 1735, there were 650 slaves and approximately 2,500 in 1746 when Maille de la Bourdonnais left Mauritius. It should be noted that besides the African slaves, there were also a group of Indian slaves. 